Hi, it's Dr. Christy Reisinger and I'm at Costco and I can't tell you how many questions I get about pain relievers that are available over the counter and how many people are confused about which ones to use when and the side effects of all of them. So there are mainly two classes of pain medications. So one is a group called NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And that class of medication includes medications like Advil, Aleve, Naproxen, and Ibuprofen. Now, if you are younger than 65 and you have a type of muscle injury or something that you feel like is inflamed, then a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug like Advil, Aleve, Naproxen, or Ibuprofen is probably a good fit for you. They last longer. They should always be taken with food because they can cause stomach upset. And you know, if you take them for a long period of time, they can damage your stomach and they can damage your kidneys and they can cause elevated blood pressure. And they've been linked with heart attacks and strokes because they make the platelets a little bit more sticky. So non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are not good for older patients. I do not like to have patients that are older than 65 on NSAIDs. So if you have pain and you are older than 65, I strongly encourage you to use acetaminophen or Tylenol. Tylenol is safer long-term. It does not need to be taken with food. It won't cause stomach upset, but the hard thing is, is that it doesn't really work as well for inflammatory things like arthritis. But it works great for things like headaches and it, it can help for generalized pain, aches and pains. But like I said, it's not gonna last as long. So you usually have to take it more often. I hope this tidbit helps, but I, like I said, I have a lot of patients that are really confused about the difference between Advil, Aleve, Naproxen, Ibuprofen, and Tylenol or Acetaminophen. They're two different classes of medications for pain. Thanks for joining me.